Hey, this is going to be a quick tutorial showing you how to create a captive portal to capture user information. So that might be an email address or a username or whatever you prompt them to enter. Um, so it's pretty simple. First of all, you need to install Evil Portal on your Wi-Fi, Pineapple, Nano, or Tetra. And then once you do that, go ahead and open it up and you are ready to begin. So let's go ahead and create a new portal. I'm going to call this Email Portal because in this example, we're going to be capturing emails and create new portal and then once we do that let's go ahead and navigate into the portal so we just click on the name and first thing we want to do is add the field for the user to type in their email address so go ahead and open up index.php and I'm just going to expand this window a little bit the important part here is in this form so we need to add a new input field to this form and we're going to do it right underneath the uh, hidden input field and above the the submit button. So we're going to say input type equals text name equals email and then we'll put some placeholder text here. And then last but not least say that this is a required field. So that is it. We are done with that part. And let's go ahead and click save. So now that we did that, we need to go ahead and write the code to handle writing the um, submitted data to a file. So we do that in the myportal.php file. So go ahead and open that up. And in the handle authorization method, above where we call the parents handle authorization method, we need to go ahead and add another line of code. So what we're going to say is file put contents and then we need to give it the file that we're going to write to. In my case, I'm going to write it to slash root slash email emails.log. That should be fine. And then the data that we want to write to that file. In this case, we're going to get the email from the request. And we're going to store that in the file. And really quickly, I'm going to wrap this in quotation marks and squiggly brackets so that we can add a new line character to the end of it so that there will always be a new line after each email. And that is it. So we can go ahead and save this file as well. And we're done. Let's come back over to the library and start up Evil Portal. And now if we click on the, or first of all, we need to activate this. So go ahead and click activate. And now if we come over to the live preview, we can see our captive portal has a new uh, text box for you to enter information. And let's just go ahead and enter an email address. We'll say testing at example.com and then click authorize. And that's it, done. Now if we come over to cabinet, or you can do this over SSH if you choose to. Um, but we open up cabinet and let's go ahead and navigate to our root directory. And we should see emails.log. And if we go ahead and click edit, we can see right there we have testing at example.com, which is the email address that we just entered. So that's it. You can have them enter any information that you want them to. Just go ahead and create more uh, input boxes, and it's that easy. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, uh, thumbs up, subscribe. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at FrozenJava. And uh, thank you for watching.